So what are the three ways to diagnose a head gasket leak? Well, we're gonna find out next. This video is sponsored by Bars Leaks. Visit barsleaks.com for more information. When a head gasket fails, oil can find its way into the coolant, coolant can find its way into the oil. Also, exhaust gases can find their way into both. So how do you determine if a vehicle has a leaking head gasket? The first step in diagnostic triage is to look at the dipstick and also the oil filler cap. If the oil on the dipstick looks brown, mucky, like a chocolate milkshake, well, chances are the head gasket's failed and coolant is getting into the oil. Also, look at the cap itself if there is a white, chalky, or milky type substance, but it's not the final way to determine if the head gasket has failed. The other method is to pressure test the system to make sure it can hold at least 21 PSI for a certain period of time. If it can't, well, there could be a leak in the coolant system or it could be the head gasket itself. Step number three, well, it's to check for combustion gases inside the cooling system. If there's combustion gases inside with a coolant, well, that's a sign that head gaskets failed and it's leaking. And this is pretty much the final death note for the head gasket. By using these three methods and three tools to look at the engine, you can determine if the head gasket has failed. This way, you've got a solid diagnosis before you either put a sealant in or repair the head gasket itself. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.